Siemens PSS SynCal offers a variety of analysis functions for the planning, design, and operation of power systems. This demonstration covers the protection analysis function as part of the protection security assessment module in PSS SynCal. With the protection analysis function, you get a fully automated check of your protection system for your entire network. During the analysis, Fault events along every protection area are automatically calculated and the protection behavior is evaluated. The analysis finds weak points and highlights them in a result matrix. Here you can see whether the protection system was able to clear a fault. The result matrix can also make you aware of unwanted or failed operations of your protection system. For a more visual representation, the corresponding protection areas can be highlighted in a network graphic, and protection simulations for specific fault events can be performed directly from the result matrix. The protection analysis is an extension of the protection simulation in PSS SynCal. So the in-network modeled protection devices are the basis of the protection analysis. To start the dialog of the protection analysis, select Calculate, Protection Device Coordination, Protection Analysis. Here you see the base settings. You can decide which fault types you want to analyze. Next, you can choose to consider differential and frequency protection, and if you also want to include bus bar faults in your analysis. In the Distance field, Set the step size to define how many fault events should be calculated along a protection area. The fault phase setting defines the faulty phases, which is especially interesting if you perform the protection analysis in unbalanced networks. The additional fault data is used to set arc and ground impedances. In the Area to be checked section, you can limit the protection analysis, which is useful in large networks. The second page of the dialog includes some extended settings. Here you can activate and set the three most important checks in protection. The check for selectivity, speed, and reliability. You can also decide if you want to perform the analysis for backup protection in case of a device or breaker malfunction. First, we'll perform a protection analysis with only the base settings. The result matrix shows we have two not cleared fault locations, which are red, and we have some over functions or unwanted operations of protection devices, which are yellow. The fault clearing time for every fault location is also displayed in the cell. To take a closer look at the weak points, we'll use the protection simulation. Simply right click a cell and select Calculate. Here we see that the device DIG2 doesn't trip correctly because it isn't the main protection for the yellow highlighted protection area. We can also see this protection device will trip after 0.12 seconds. To see which zone tripped, double click the device and select the results entry. In the setting of the distance protection device, DIG2, we can see that the 4i zone, also known as the directional end time, was tripped. The directional end time is usually used as a backup, so the time setting is usually quite high. In this case, a simple fault occurred during the parameterization. The setting must be 1.2 seconds and not 0.12. Let's make that change and perform the protection analysis again. Now you can see that many of the over functions disappeared. Now let's look at the leftover function. We perform the protection simulation and see we again have an unwanted operation. In the settings, we see the third zone tripped. For distance protection devices, usually the first and second zone cover the main protection area, and in this case, it's this line, so the tripping here seems to be correct. Now let's look at the main protection for the highlighted protection area. The tripping time of the device DIC2 is 0.9 seconds, and for main protection, this is quite high. If we check the results, we see zone 3 tripped, 
But as we mentioned, usually the first and second zone are responsible for the main protection area. In this case, we'd assume there is something wrong with the zone settings. So we can use the protection route calculation to double check. First, right click on the device, then choose calculation at device. Select protection route. We see the second zone of the distance protection device, shown here in violet, only covers 94%. But this zone should cover at least 100% of the main protection area. With this information, we know the second zone isn't set correctly. Let's adjust the settings and change zone 2 to 0.5 ohm and perform a protection route calculation again. Now the second zone will cover 100% of the main protection area and part of the following protection area. When we perform the protection analysis again, we see the over function disappeared. Next, we'll investigate the not cleared fault locations. If we perform the protection simulation again, we see the main protection device could not clear the fault at the red fault locations. We also see the device did not start. In this case, we have an overcurrent protection device. In the settings, we notice the tripping current is set to 5 amperes secondary, respectively 5 multiplied with the current transformer ratio 300 slash 1 to 1.5 kiloamps primary. This is above the occurring short circuit current, which is 1437 amperes. So we must change the pickup current to make the device more sensitive. Let's perform the protection analysis again. We see the not cleared fault locations disappeared. Now that we've looked at the three phase fault results, let's check the worst case results from all fault types. Select the short circuit method and select compare the three phase fault results with the two phase fault results. There is still one not cleared fault location in the case of a two phase short circuit. Now that we're familiar with the base functions and results, let's review some of the extended functions available. There are three checks you should do in every protection analysis, starting with the clearing time, which checks the speed of the protection system. First, set a maximum allowed clearing time. We'll use 0.6 seconds. In the result matrix, the protection system is slower than 0.6 seconds in some fault locations. This is always the case with a two-side feeder protection area with distance protection. The distance protection covers 80 to 90 percent of the main protection area in its first zone with a short time and the rest of the protection area in its second zone. If time is a critical criterion, you could adjust the protection concept with a teleprotection which will switch off the whole protection area in a short time. This can be done directly in the zone settings. If we perform a protection analysis again, we see faults in the whole protection area will be switched off in 0.33 seconds. The second essential check is for reliable pickup. Here we'll see if the protection device is able to pick up at the minimum short circuit current under the consideration of a reliability factor. To do this, we need to activate Reliability Pickup Factor in the Extended Settings and set it. With these settings, we see some fault locations where the pickup of the protection can't be guaranteed. You can try to make the setting more sensitive, but need to consider the load current. We can change the pickup and perform the protection analysis again. The third important check is the check of the coordination time which looks at time selectivity between devices. There are different modes for this, and in this example, we'll use the grading time mode. The time distance between two devices should be at least 0.3 seconds. In the results, we see a violation of the selectivity. To check this, we'll perform a protection simulation. The yellow protection device tells us there's a violation of the time selectivity in PSS SynCal. In the network graphic, we can see the time distance between the protection device's DIG1, with a tripping time of 0.5 seconds, and the device DIF1, 
with a tripping time of 0.3 seconds, is 0.2 seconds below the set 0.3 seconds. So we have to change the time setting and perform a protection analysis again. The violation no longer exists. These three important checks are not only available for main protection, but also for backup. To check the backup protection in the protection analysis, you must decide if you'd like to check a device malfunction or a breaker malfunction. You can also see there are separate parameters for the maximum fault clearing time and the reliability factor. For backup protection, you'll get a separate result matrix. The X behind a protection device shows us a malfunction of this device was simulated. For two side feeder protection areas, two separate result rows are calculated. Here we have a malfunction of the protection device DIA1 at the beginning of this protection area and a malfunction of device DIC2 at the end of this protection area. In the case of a protection malfunction, over and under functions are often accepted, but not cleared fault locations are not. With this in mind, we'll only look at the not cleared fault locations. First, we perform a protection simulation for a fault location in the highlighted protection area. OCT1 is the responsible backup device, but it didn't trip. In the backup device settings, we'll change the pickup current to make the device more sensitive and perform the protection analysis again. Now we only have one protection zone with a not cleared fault location. We can't increase the sensitivity of the backup protection any further, so we'll need another solution. We can use a local backup protection in the branch by simply copying the protection device in the branch and pasting it again. Then we'll change the name and perform the protection analysis. That worked. In the results, we see the protection devices in the branch backed up for each other. Protection analysis saves you time with a fully automated check of your protection system under several conditions. And you can detect weak points that are not found with common protection checks. Ensure quality and optimize your protection system with protection analysis in PSS SynCal.